Garine, Thomas and Chris Froome are assured of a warmer welcome on their home run when the Tour of Britain sets off on Sunday. Britain's yellow jersey legends were subjected to ignorant abuse and assorted hooliganism at the roadside when Thomas clinched Team Sky's sixth triumph in seven years on the Tour de France. Froome was punched, spat at and doused in liquids which may not have been pure water by primitives who believe he should have been banned, not cleared, over his salbutamol case after one sample in 2017 contained asthma medication beyond the permitted level. And Thomas was booed on post-stage presentation podiums for being Froome's teammate and, er, that's all, folks. But on the 710-mile tour of Britain, which begins with a 109-mile stage from Pembrey to Newport in Thomas's Welsh Kingdom, the atmosphere will be far removed from the hostility across the channel. Never mind the garlic, here's the man of Harlock. Thomas, 32, does not expect to pull up many trees on the tour of Britain, although the eight stages race will help him tune up for the UCI World Championships road race later this month in Innsbruck where he has been included in a powerful Great Britain squad with Froome. He will enjoy the adulation, although he admitted, in an interview last month, that the hostility from French gutters had served a purpose by firing up Team Sky. Thomas said, I can't see the hate changing any time soon, that's because I hope Sky's dominance continues for as long as I'm riding for them. And we've got used to it, it definitely brings the team together. Having a common enemy that really hates us. We'll show them, we'll try even harder and really pee them off. If you didn't look at it that way, you'd get depressed because it's not nice being booed. Four times yellow jersey winner Froome, riding the Tour of Britain for the first time since 2009, will not be treating the next week as an extended lap of honor, either, but he has unfinished business at Grand Tour level. He said, I'm not finished. At the moment I still have a lot to achieve and to race for. I'd like to carry on riding for another five years if my legs will allow me, I came into the sport late compared with others, so I still feel young. I'm grateful for everything that I've done so far, but if I carry on and can get a fifth Tour de France victory, it would be special to be in that elite group of guys who won five yellow jerseys. That would be my goal. More than most. Froome will be grateful of supportive crowds after his ordeal in France, where he deferred leadership of the Sky Train to Thomas with exemplary grace and was rewarded with third place in the general classification. His former teammate Richie Port, who crashed out on stage 9, was appalled by the nonsense Froome had to endure. The Australian climber said, watching from afar, it was an absolute disgrace. It's everyone's right to an opinion. But why turn up to a bike race to assault and spit on people? That's just disgusting. After tomorrow's opening stage in Wales and a dip into the West Country, the Tour of Britain swings north towards Cumbria before its traditional finish in London on September 9. Stage 1 Sep 2, Pembrey Newport, 109 miles. Stage 2, Sep 3, Cranbrook Barnes Staple, 108 miles. Stage 3, Sept 4, Bristol Clifton Down, 78 miles. Stage 4, Sept 5, Nuneaton Leamington Spa, 114 miles. Stage 5, Sept 6, Cockermouth Win Ladder Pass, Team Time Trial, 9 miles. Stage 6, Sept 7, Barrow in Furnace Win Ladder Pass, 105 miles. Stage 7, Sept 8. West Bridgeford Mansfield, 139 miles. Stage 8, Sept 9, London Circuit, 48 miles.